Does the omega-6 to omega-3 ratio actually matter? We consume both omega-6 fats in the form of linoleic acid and omega-3 fats in the form of alpha linolenic acid from a variety of foods, including nuts, seeds, and certain oils, and both of those fats are actually converted by the same enzymes in our body. And because we tend to consume far more of the omega-6 fats than the omega-3 fats, it's thought that the omega-6s will be using up all the enzymes and crowding out the omega-3s so they don't have access. So this has led some to suggest that we should consume a more balanced ratio of the two. Interestingly, studies that have investigated if there is an optimal ratio for the conversion of ALA into other types of omega-3 fats have actually failed to identify one. What matters more is the total amount of each fat that is consumed. For example, if we were to increase or decrease both linoleic acid and alpha linoleic acid but keep the ratio the exact same, the results wouldn't be the same. Decreasing linoleic acid seems to increase the conversion of ALA to EPA, which is one type of omega-3 fat, but then increasing ALA intake seems to increase the conversion to DHA, which is another type of omega-3 fat. But in both cases, the change in the conversion is relatively small. But my question would ultimately be, does decreasing linoleic acid or increasing alpha linolenic acid actually lead to better long-term outcomes? Well, linoleic acid, which is typically from vegetable oils, nuts, and seeds, is actually consistently associated with better outcomes, including a lower risk of cardiovascular cancer and all-cause mortality. While increasing ALA intake, which is concentrated in walnuts, flax seeds, and canola oil, is actually associated with reductions in cardiovascular and all-cause mortality as well. So the take-home message is that both the omega-6 fat linoleic acid and the omega-3 fat alpha linolenic acid are beneficial and there isn't a good reason to obsess over the ratio. But since most people are already consuming a fair bit of linoleic acid and ALA intake tends to be much lower in the population, there may be reason to place more focus on increasing that omega-3 fat to reap the benefits.